Shalom, shalom family, my beautiful, beautiful Mishpaha. How y'all doing? Today is Wednesday. I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. Uh, April 25th. I say the date as if I don't sit at a desk all day and have a calendar right in front of my face, but that goes to show you how much I care about time. <laughs> Our calendars, by the way, I guess. Anyway, I hope everybody is having a good morning. I just wanted to share, and I'll try to keep this video short or until I get to my office. But anyway, how y'all doing? Is everybody all right? Everybody is having a good morning? Um, are your week is treating you good so far? Mine is treating me, oh, really good. Um, not, not so much the week, but Elohim. The way he reveals himself is so amazing every time, and it's so different every time. And in some ways, it's big, and in some ways, it's not so big. But each time, when I think about how he's revealed himself to me and my family, um, wow, it's just amazing. Uh, he is so worthy of our praise and. I just wanted to share with you guys about what recently just happened. So my son, he's been um, looking for looking for some work, looking for another job. And he's only been out of work for two months. But that boy, he's just so industrious that when he's... Um, <laughs> that's another reason why Elohim had him... Had me present the opportunity for him to help me with my videos. With my Cooking with Elohim videos. Um, just to keep him busy and industrious and not be idle, you know, um, what the scripture says, not be idle, but, and to use his Elohim given talent for, you know, for working for Elohim and pitching his tent with him. But anyway, so yeah, he's been looking for a job and, um, as his parent, I've just been encouraging him to hang in there, not to rush and just you know, like a lot of young people do, and I was guilty of it myself when I was his age. You know, I just want some money. I just want a job. I don't care what it is. And never really being loyal to that job or the job really not caring about me. I'm just a number, which in most jobs it's like that anyway. But just to be smart about it, the main thing is just to have Elohim lead you and um, <clears throat> so that you can be where he wants you to be, not where we want to be. Um, and I'm telling you, so what happened was he was looking for jobs in this one particular company and I won't say the name of the company cause it's a pretty, pretty well known company, but this one particular company that he had applied for online. Um, and that's another thing, you know, like nowadays, gosh, man, it's like you look for a job, everybody, you can, it's not like the old school. I mean, <laughs> not that I'm that old, but. When I used to look for a job when I was my son's age, it was all about your face. You go into the place, sit down, fill out the application, um, and you hopefully will get an interview. Or you fill out the application, you get a car, you call, and, and hopefully get an interview. Or they'll call you. But now everything is done online. Everything. You can't, it's not just walking into a place anymore. Oh no, they will tell you, no, go to our website. And then you're up against a thousand other people on this side. It's like, man. Anyway, that's enough of that rant. So he applies for this um, this position at this company. And he, uh, they call him. And they're like, okay, you know, what are you interested in? And he was like, you know, part-time or full-time is fine. Um, and... They basically told him they were looking for particularly part-time people to work all day, Saturday and Sunday. So my son said, which he always does, he said, oh, okay, well, that might, you know, propose a problem for me because, you know, I, I, this is just my words paraphrasing, but he basically told him that he honors the Sabbath, which is on Saturday. So it wouldn't be possible, possible for him to work on Saturday but um, uh, maybe Saturday night. And so they were like, oh, 
well, you know, it was nice talking to you. You know how it goes. But we can't, um, you know, we're that's what we're looking for. So good luck, right? So anyway, he came in the kitchen. This is on the this is on Shabbat when he got that call. He came in the kitchen and he was talking to me about it. And now the mother in me, I wanted to be like, yes, son, yes. Like, you know, oh, Elohim is working. I love that. Like, I didn't have to tell him. It was, you know, he just, Elohim put it in his heart to, you know, let them know. But this is how good our father is. <laughs> so that was this past Shabbat. So uh, Monday, I go and I get some coffee and I'm talking to someone and they're like, oh, tell your son to come in here. Now, this particular, this is the same company, but a different site close to my house. Tell your son to come in here um, and I'll introduce him to the manager and we'll see if we can get this thing rolling. And I said, okay, well, he applied at another location and they told him, and he was like, no, that's not gonna be a problem. Like, we're really flexible. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. I told my son, they hired him yesterday at this at this location closer to my job and told him that Shabbat wouldn't be a problem every now and then they might need him if it's really really busy but um that's fine so when I got home and he my son is very he's one of those type of people <clears throat> he's one of those men that's why I told him you know if we're still here and Elohim um, blesses you with the wife, you make sure that you keep that. Not that he's going to make sure because Elohim, that's inside of him of what Elohim gave him. But he's going to make a very good husband for his wife because he is very um, laid back. He's not easily excited. <laughs> and he does not have a problem with if something doesn't sound right, he will ask a question. And he'll speak his mind, too. So I don't know where he got that from. But anyway, yeah, so when I got home, he told me the news. And he was just really cool about it. He was like, well, yeah, Mom, I was hired. Um, you know, I got to go in tomorrow morning for the background, the criminal background check and the drug test. He was like, and you know I'm going to pass that. And I was like, you know, so I was like, oh, my gosh, Quadric, that's so good. You know, that's great. Awesome. And immediately I told him, look at what Elohim did. And I reminded him of what happened on Saturday. And he was like, oh yeah, okay. So he was listening. But what I was doing as his parent was bringing back to his memory, Zakar, reminding him of what Elohim does for us when we put him first. And how even when we think things are not going our way, it doesn't matter. When we put him first, he's going to flip that thing around. And it was so fast. And this is how Elohim has worked in my life. Everyone is different. But Elohim says that because we honor him and love him and put him first, he will bless our children. And it is our responsibility. Now, when you're a parent, you don't stop being a parent just because your child is 18, 19, 20, 30, 40. As long as you're living here, you are responsible with some tasks for your kids, for your children. And one of those is to teach them the way of Elohim and to teach them things of Elohim. Now, again, it's not that you're bullying. It's not that you're, um, you know, telling them what they have to do, but you, encourage, you keep them encouraged. Because the thing is, if we're here, as Brad Scott says, if Yeshua, if Yeshua just happens not to come and he still tarries and he's not here, in a year and your child meets this person that Elohim has blessed us to come across their path you want that child to take with them the things that you've taught them of Elohim on in their life so they can teach their children and again if Yeshua just happens to not come next week you know and so we sat in the kitchen and we had a good conversation I did most of the talking because I just was telling him, I, I continually want to encourage you to keep your heart with him and to, when these things happen, just to take some intimate time and just thank him for these things. It might be a small thing to some people, 
but when you're walking the way, the path, he reveals himself to you like that. And it's different every single time and it's wonderful and it's amazing and you want to give him the credit. You want to give him the esteem that he deserves, the praise that he deserves. You know, yeah, one job will tell you, oh no, because we need you here on, on the Sabbath. We need you here every Saturday. And then another job, you'll meet them and they'll see they'll see that inside of you Elohim inside of you and that will touch their heart and you don't have to say a word you know so you want to give him the credit and teach your children te teach your kids you know they don't have to be religious or they don't have to be a follower of the way you show them by example if something happens you let them know wow praise Elohim that's so wonderful look what he's doing for you I'm so happy for you you know and you continually do that and by your example by you showing them then hopefully one day that will win their hearts over and they will want to seek the Ruach and Elohim will know that it's because of you because you've been esteeming his name you've been proclaiming his name you've been proclaiming his ways you've been esteeming his ways you've been talking to your kids you've been praising his name with your friends whenever something happens that um that's small or even big you're saying wow look what he's doing that's awesome and again he reveals his ways in different at different times and different every single time is different but however it is we want to give him that praise so this is the day Yahweh has made. Let us rejoice and be thankful. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Shalom.